Today, we are going to talk about Brogan Authentication, which is number 2 in OAP's top 10 list 2020. We will be looking at 9 different ways to find out Brogan Authentication and exploit it. So let's get started. Hello guys and girls, patient and impatient, welcome to Bug Access. So, number one is improper authentication. So, let's discuss a scenario in which user A is a victim and user B is hacker or malicious user. User B will go to a login page of the domain and put email address of user A and guess any random password. Now, he will intercept the request to manipulate it. Once a request is captured, we will intercept the response to that request in order to see what is the status code. Status code must be a 4xs or anything which won't let you in in user A's account. So we'll just try changing 4xs to 200 ok or 302 found and if you are able to get into your victim's account then it comes under improper authentication. There are many many methods in which improper authentication might work. So if you want to know more about this like pasting a cookies value or how to retrieve cookies value and how can cookie can help us in account take or anything like that I urge you all to follow us on our Instagram account which is bug underscore access we provide daily amazing content of bug bounty and cyber security and it will be really helpful to you all so the next way is use of single factor authentication now you might be thinking that how this is a broken authentication so you know that uh, we have something known as multi-factor authentication or 2FA right so it is not obvious that every domain might be using 2FA or multi-factor authentication but uh, I cannot guarantee that you can report this because it is domain dependent if they want to use 2FA or not so but you can always report if you can bypass 2FA applications or anything like that so number three is unprotected storage of credentials now this might come under the source code review so when you right click on a login page and try the view source code thing you might find something known as id and password which will help you to gain a admin admin panel access or uh, something which uh, public is not having access to so it is always a good practice to see if there is there are hard coded credentials on uh, source code or github or anything like that so number fourth is predictable login credentials now what are predictable login credentials so these are the credentials which are hard coded and developers forgot to remove those credentials like admin 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 password root password which is like the credentials which are very very common and easily accessible so this is the fourth way to find out broken authentication next is exposing session ids in url this is a critical vulnerability and you might find this in burp suit issues tag and it is like if there is a url rewriting a malicious user can uh, take the session id of the victim and rewrite the url and have the access to his or her session which is not yet expired so the next one is my personal favorite and it is number six which is a session does not time out or invalidate after logout this is 35 seconds vulnerability you can get this vulnerability within 35 seconds and it will really help you to gain some bugs or points in bug crowd so what you need to do is just open two sessions in two different browser log out from one browser and see if the other uh, session is logged out or it is still valid if it is still valid then you can report this vulnerability and gain some points number seven is insufficient session expiration so this one is very much related to the last one in which session does not time out or invalid after logout but in this we are trying to say that if your session like you are not logging out or not doing anything for around 30 minutes or 45 minutes or one hour but session is still active then this is still a vulnerability session should be invalidate itself after a certain time limit if there are no actions taken so you can report this if you, if you can find this 
Okay, so this one is again 35 seconds vulnerability and you can find this within 35 seconds and report it. It is called as unverified password change. So how you can find this? If you are changing your password, then there should be an email sending to the user that your password has been changed. If there are no verification in password change, then you can report this. So last but not the least, we are on the ninth way on finding the broken authentication, which is sending password, session ID and other credentials or unencrypted connection. So this is little uh, tedious to find this vulnerability, but if you can see that a uh, credentials are going over network in plain text format, like uh, they are not encoded in base 64 or URL encoding or anything, you can report this vulnerability. You might get informative on this, but it is always good to report the this type of vulnerability to gain some points or reputations.